than meets the eye. Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase we're going to look at the Japanese exclusive 1987 figure Stepper. What we're going to do with this video, we're going to have a quick look at him and his accessories. We'll compare him directly with the Generation 1 Jazz just to see the differences. We'll have a look at the uh, box and the artwork and some of the things that came with the packaging. Before we get started, I want to dedicate this video to one of my subscribers, and there's a guy from Line on Transformers Earth Wars the game. His name is Scrap Stalker. This video is for him, and I hope he enjoys it very much. Okay, let's give you a bit of background history about this guy. Funnily enough, Scrap Stalker asked for Artfire, and as yet, that's one figure that I do not own. But I've got this guy, and a little bit of history about him. Yes, he is a straight up jazz redeco, which you can see there. Um, and I'm going to be bringing him again in a second just to do some more comparisons. But he was released in 1987 and he is a Japanese exclusive. Um, and he was released at the very, very end of what was the Headmasters wave of figures. And although he never made it into any cartoon episode or in, in any comic, really, um, he's still an incredibly sought after toy. Um, he has actually been reissued um, over the past few years so the demand for him wasn't as high as it was initially him and Artfire are probably the two most in demand I suppose uh yeah official released Autobots from the Japanese range purely for that reason they were released at the very end of the end of the range there wasn't that many of them produced and he is an amazing figure and I'm going to apologize now I'm definitely not going to be transforming him and I'm sure that you guys understand why with the fact that he is an original but he is yeah he's just a straight up jazz redeco but what you've got is you've got lovely lovely gold chrome on the hip sorry on the shins and on the waist instead of the silver and in the face, you can see they've just literally given him a lovely redeco. They've given him a nice sticker on the bonnet. He's also been reissued during the, down the Generations line and um, as an alternator as well as Ricochet. So that's why some of you may have seen him before and thought, oh, I don't realise his name was Stepper. He was originally known as Ricochet. So um, sorry, he was renamed as Ricochet, but his original name was Stepper. And as you can see here, he's got the same things on the back of Jazz. So all of this is very, very fragile, including the windows. What I want to show you at the back, though, is you can see there, that's the main difference between this and, of course, Jazz. And that is a hole or the point where you can attach the Target Master partner there. And for those of you who know Transformers Generation 1 figures, you'll probably recognise that as, I think it's Nightstick is his um, Cyclonus, Target Master Cyclonus' his partner which is, this is exactly who he is. He was used for this guy. Um, and that's because Target Master Cyclonus and Target Master Scourge didn't have a Japanese or Takara release. And um, Fracas, I think, is Scourge's, he's Artfire's partner. Now, the bit that you really need as well, and this is the part that's missing on most of them, this attaches at the back there the same as what the rocket launcher, there we go, and the normal jazz does. So it just slots into the back behind the head there and then of course you can fold the target master figure up and you can turn him into a gun again i apologize i'm not going to be transforming it but i've got a picture here just quickly to show you that because it is impressive and he does look very good so there we go there it is with his target master on the back and then right next to him is art fire and of course there he is again in his box to be honest i don't even know <laughs> why i transformed him initially i was incredibly scared when i did it but that's a bit of back history about him he only comes with these accessories which is quite funny because he does have the same as i say hand holes as jazz but he doesn't have any other gun the same as jazz does there so that's the main differences that's a bit of story about him as with all the japanese figures they came with these sort of collector's cards which are brilliant uh, for those of you unaware cybertron was um the name for autobots in japan don't need to have a quick look at the accessories as i say the transformation is exactly the same as jazz but what they do come with they come with a couple of different pamphlets so as i've said it was released at the time of headmasters so you've got the main headmasters theme there so there's the autobots versus the destrons as they were known and you've got the mail and then you've got some mail away things i've actually done a couple of different things actually looking at these flyers because they're so vastly different i'll quickly show you this one as well 
this is the other one that came with it and again i've done a full video on this i'm not going to go into too much detail so you can just see that at the time they were redecoing quite a few of the figures so there's a quick switch redecoed into six knots that's enough for that as i say i've done a full video on just that flyer let's have an actual look at the box itself so as i've mentioned the c stood for cybertrons which was autobots it was number 109 and you can see it's saying it was a target master there there's a lovely picture of his target master and his alternate mode again transformation is exactly the same i'll probably have to end up buying a reissue which i don't really buy so i can just do a transformation video for you guys but there is the artwork at the time as i say headmasters so there's your headmasters battle scene scorponok and fortress maximus there and as i've already said it's quite funny how how high in demand this guy is he, he wasn't in a cartoon he wasn't in um yeah he wasn't he wasn't really in anything but the demand for him is huge not as much since they reissued him his partner art fire now is probably the most in demand figure i watched one of him go on chuck lou's website the day for a really good price so foam insert everything fits in nicely there i've mentioned a few times how much i prefer the um polystyrene foam whatever you want to call it inserts they just make it look so much better so again i'm going to apologize for not transforming him but i hopefully gave you enough information and you know you've had a nice look at him especially if you scrap stalker um yeah again you can get the reissue one if you want to get hold of this figure the original one like this is, is much more sought after but there you go hopefully you've enjoyed looking at him hopefully I give you a bit of information about him as well and why he's again so probably sought after but again thanks guys for your likes and your comments and your subscriptions and of course please take care thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe